All right, hey there. In this video, I'm going to go over how to create an interactive map. Uh, this is something I use for a project, and it took me a little while to figure out. So uh, I've got this map here on this website, where if you scroll over different states, you get a pop-up feature with uh, with some interactivity. And there's a lot you can do with this. Um, in in this example, I'm going to create this interactive map uh, using Flash Catalyst. Adobe Illustrator and then I'm going to upload it to a Joomla website so uh, hopefully you'll be able to, uh, to take some of the uh, uh, information I've got here and be able to do this for yourself. Now the first thing we're going to need is to get a vector map uh, that uh, I googled and found here on this website and uh, I can simply download it by uh, going to the website and clicking here and uh, there's a nice uh, vector because it's already in a uh, Illustrator format so I can just work with what we've got and make any kind of tweaks I can rather than try to recreate the map from scratch. So I'm going to download that. Okay, now I'm going to uh, come to my downloads and I'm going to open up this map in Adobe Illustrator. And while that's uh, opening up, I'm going to talk a little bit about the workflow here. What we're going to do is we're going to get our vector map and we're going to make changes to it so, so that we've got the document uh, or the graphic the way that we want it to. And then we're going to import it into Flash Catalyst. Flash Catalyst is going to interpret all of the layers exactly the way they need to be and we're going to start creating buttons out of the states and give those buttons some interactivity. So we're going from uh, from the graphic to Adobe Illustrator and then to Flash Catalyst to refine. Once we get that all done, we're going to export it into an SWF file. And we're going to upload that file onto a Joomla website. So uh, you see here I've got the graphic and uh, certainly want to give credit to uh, these folks that uh, created this and made it available. Uh, it's a great uh, vector graphic. Um, and I'll just pull up the Layers tab right here so you can see what we've got to work with. Um, within each one of the uh, states, and we'll pull up a big one here so we can find that and look at it. I can further expand the uh, layers and they've actually got the uh, cities named here and then right down here they've got the actual uh, graphical representation of the state. Um, for my purposes, I, I don't keep this short and sweet, so I'm just going to grab these southeastern uh, states here and uh, I'm going to copy them and put them in a new Illustrator document that's uh, 300 by 300 pixels, which is exactly the size that I want for the project that I'm working on. So I'm going to open that up and paste the states that I've selected. Now I'm going, while they're all still selected, I'm going to go ahead and expand them. So I'm going to hold down my Shift key and uh, make that a little bit bigger. Uh, try to reposition it. Oh, there we go. Reposition that over here a little bit and uh, continue to fill up my space on the artboard. Now if you don't, uh, if you haven't worked in Illustrator a lot, uh, this white area that I have here is the artboard and I can change the size of my artboard by clicking on the artboard and uh, moving that around here, here, however I want to do that. But um, I've got it the size I want so we're going to sit tight. Now I can look at my layers and uh, for the purposes of this video I don't want to add any interactivity to the different state names and city names so I'm going to expand my layers and I'm just going to turn these city and state names off but leave the state graphics completely visible. So I'll just scroll through here and uh, turn these guys off. Okay, so now I'm going to close out my layers tab and I've just got these different states that I can work with. Now I want to save this and um, I'm going to put that here on my desktop and call this interactive map and now I'm going to uh, open up Flash Catalyst and import this map into Flash Catalyst. Aren't you glad I said Flash Catalyst three times now? Okay now we're in Flash Catalyst and I'm going to start a new project. I'm going to call this Interactive Map and I'm going to also make my project 300 by 300 now I've got my Flash Catalyst canvas all set up. I can use my uh, my Apple Plus key to make my canvas a little bit bigger. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import an Illustrator file. I'm going to pull in my map that I just created. And so just go up here and find it. Okay. 
Okay, there it is. Open that up. And Flash Catalyst is going to actually import my map along with all of the layers that uh, I have. So it's going to make turning these layers into buttons very, very easy for me. So I'm just going to keep all of the standard options. Select OK. And now in my canvas I've got all of the layers. Now I can come over here to uh, my Layers tab and I can see what I've got to work with right here. So uh, at this point I'm going to uh, stretch out my canvas first a little bit so I can see what I got to work with here. And uh, the next step I w that I want to do is I want to turn each one of the states into buttons so I can add some interactivity. So I'll start right here and uh, convert this artwork to a button. And once I do that, I want to look at my uh, button states, uh, either the up, over, down, or disabled. And I'm most interested in my over right here because um, here's where I can set the mouse scroll over effect. So I'm going to pick my, uh, my button and I'm going to go into back into Illustrator to edit that button. Okay, in Illustrator, now I want to add an effect, and uh, I kind of like that drop shadow effect, so I'm going to come down here to Stylize, I'm going to add a drop shadow effect, preview that, and that's exactly what I want for the rollover state of that button. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of that, I'm going to save it, use all the default options, and now in Flash Catalyst you can see that my over option is the drop shadow effect but if I click completely out of that back to my um, my map then you can see that the normal state where I don't have a mouse over it is gonna be exactly the way that uh, that the map was originally so now I'm just gonna go into each one of my other uh, states and I'm gonna convert them to buttons then I'm going to select the over state I'm gonna edit that back in Illustrator select that, add my drop shadow, and do this for each one of the southeastern states. Okay, now that I have all the uh, states converted into buttons and my effects applied, I'm going to go ahead and run the project so we can see what we've got so far. Flash Catalyst is then going to take all of the changes that I've made and uh, go ahead and build my interactive map and give me uh, a chance to look at it in a browser and see how it's going to how it's going to operate. Okay, so here I have my map, and you can see I can just scroll over each one of my uh, options here, and I get that nice pop-up uh, effect. So I'm going to close that out and uh, go back into Flash Catalyst. And now I want to add some text so that when I scroll over each one of the elements, I can uh, ha see some text that will change. So what I'm going to do here is have multiple states of this entire graphic. And uh, first thing I'm going to do is come up here to the first page and I'm going to duplicate that state. Now I'm going to select my text option and I'm going to draw myself a nice big text box. Uh, right here and uh, place some text in it. I want to reposition that just a little bit. So it's not quite there. And we'll start back here on the uh, on the uh, far west side. So uh, we'll put in some. Uh, information about Mississippi. Okay, so now I've got uh, this page. I'm going to change its name to Mississippi. If 
I can spell it right. Okay, so I know that this is the Mississippi state. And uh, now I want to start creating these duplicate states for each one of my other uh, geographical states. So I'm going to make sure that's highlighted. And I'm going to come over here and change this to Alabama. And add some new text here for the Alabama state. All right, and now I can do this for each one of my other geographical states. Okay, now I've got all my states created uh, of my geographic states. So I've got a page for Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, Florida, all the way down down the line with some different text in each one. And now what I want to do is make it such that when I mouse over one of these buttons, then the that transitions to the appropriate state where I have the text for that uh, geographic state. So for example, we're going to go ahead and select the uh, state of Mississippi and over here in my interactions I want to set this so that when the mouse rolls over we transition to the Mississippi page okay and we're gonna leave it when in any state so that way on any one of my geographic state pages when I mouse over Mississippi it transitions to the Mississippi page or Mississippi state this one right here so I'm going to select OK. Now, what's going to happen is when I transition onto that, it's going to stay that way. And so I want to tell Flash Catalyst that when I mouse off of that state, then I'm going to go back to the page one where there's no text visible. So I'm going to add an additional interaction, and I'm going to put on Roll Out, and I'm going to choose State Page 1. Select OK. And now I'm set so that when I mouse over this, immediately State Mississippi is going to come up with my text. And so I will then click on all the other buttons and add my interactions. Okay, now that I'm complete with setting up my buttons and transitions to the states, I'm going to save my project and uh, Flash Catalyst, I've always found it to be a little persnickety, so I try to save on a regular basis so I don't lose a lot of the work that I've done. And then I'm going to run the project and see what we've got. Again, we're going to build the interactive map, pull it up in a browser, and I'll be able to simulate what it's going to look like on the Internet. Okay, so here we have our effects. That's looking pretty good. Now, I've got a little bit of a problem right here with some of these states overlapping and so I've got to figure out what's going on there. Let me jump back into Flash Catalyst and I think it has to do with the position of the layers. Okay now I've got my states repositioned so that uh, I get about the best effect that I'm going to get so I'm going to run my project double check that. Okay and there we go. The only one I still have a little trouble with is South Carolina, but I think that's as good as I'm going to get using this drop shadow effect. So now we've got our interactive flash map created. We're going to save this. And next step is going to be to export our flash file to uh, an SWF. So I'm going to uh, publish that and Flash Catalyst is going to do its thing, actually create the interactive map and uh, export it to the file format that I need. Okay, now that we've exported, let's check and see what we've got here. So I've got now uh, an interactive map folder with two sets of files, one for deploy to web and then another for run local. So uh, again, we just looked at this, but to show you again, I'm going to pull up the main HTML and we'll 
see exactly the interactive map that uh, we just looked at. So it's sitting right there on your computer and now the next step is to get it up onto your website.